Okay chaps, welcome back to the channel. So we are out sea fishing. We're down on the Lad's annual jolly. Uh, this year we're down in Dorset, uh, Bridport we stay in, and uh, we've just come down, it's, it's just gone, or oh, it's just coming up to five o'clock. Just put the first cast in the water. We're at Freshwater Bay Caravan Park. There's, uh, there's a few people down here, probably what? We're, there's five of us, and I can see another, let me have a look, one, two, three. Like a six beach shelters down here at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see how we get on. So I've got, I've got some. <laughs> hang on, Pat's just waving a ragworm at me. We've got some worm from um, uh, West Bay Angle, and it's huge. Looks good stuff. To be honest with you. So um, so yeah, we're in the water. We're fishing, and yeah, I got some new gear with me today. So I'm using the fixed spool for the first time. I've got a, uh, I can swing you around now, show you the rod. It's a Versary Enigma, super fast. And I've picked up a, a, a coma reel today in the tackle shop. Um, so yeah, guys, I will, uh, I will bring you back in a bit. Okay, now we get on. Okay, chaps, I don't know if you can see that, but we're having a couple of little knocks. We are having a couple of little knocks, and we're just going to go wind in and see if there's anything here. Ragworm. Get them unhooked and we're getting back. So first cast two fish. We'll take that. We go look at it. one. So we had black plug on the bottom hook, on the top hook, sorry, and we had uh, ragworm on the top. So we've got there we go guys. So we've Two little fish here. So a nice start to the day so we can get these back in the water. So guys, they both went back okay, so we're just going to get rebooted up now and get them back out there. Oh, so chaps, that, that was a great start. First cast, two fish. Um, long may it continue. So I'm just going to show you what we're using. So we've got a, a two hook flapper, basically. One of them has got a, a flotation bead on it to lift up all the water. And the other one has just got some bling on it. And then we've just got a pyramid red on the bottom. So I'm just going to get this one rebated up again and back out there. Okay guys, these worms are pretty huge, so I'm using a baiting needle. For, for a ragworm, because the buggers keep biting me. They do. And I got a nice little piece of uh, frozen bracket to go on the top of. So yeah, we're just going to go and uh, bait this one up 
and then we're going to get him out of there. I'm just going to turn you around so you can see it. Yeah, you should be able to see your cast as well then. You should, hopefully anyway, with any luck. Spin the camera around so you get a good view. Okay, we're back in the water guys. Uh, I'm not used to using a thick spoon, so it's taking some getting used to. So I'm not, uh, I'm not casting far. I'm just giving a little go about where I get used to it. But, uh, the rod feels nice. Uh, I can feel like basically what I've done is any, any pennies I've earned on YouTube this year, um, I'm pulling back into the channel and if that's gonna be camera gear, fishing gear, hiking gear, um, just so I can try different bits out review some different gear for you guys and just uh, yeah just keep the channel uh, up to date for all types of fishing hiking and um, yeah any outdoor adventure type stuff chaps these worm look at the size of that it's bloody huge some great great quality worm here that's gonna have to do two bits that one is it is the hooks I've got on today that's that one go on so two baits for this one Right, but so far so good guys, so uh, free cast, free fish, uh, rod is nice, I like it, um, thick spool, yeah, I think I'm converted. Nothing big, um, just pouted, small pouting, uh, Alan's just had a, uh, a couple of small congas. Uh, one of the issues we are having is uh, seagulls, so we're putting the fish back, and then the seagulls are following it, and before they can get away, the seagulls are bloody taking them out of the water. Let's see if I can get one camera. No, that one's got back. But yeah, they, uh, they're clever buggers. They wait for us to catch, and as soon as you put them in the water, they, uh, they're in and they laugh to They are little buggers. So yeah, lots of, uh, lots of action, just a little fish. So nothing exciting. I've uh, cut the bait size down now. Um, as we get into darkness, I'll probably swap over to probably rig with a bigger bait on and try to avoid the smaller fish. But it's nice to have a rod tip um, bouncing. Um, yeah, the rod so far uh, is really nice. You know, it's nice to cast. It's got great, uh, great bite detection on it. Um, very happy so far. So yeah, I don't know what it would be like with a big fish on. Uh, fingers crossed we'll get to find out in a bit. Oh well.
So yeah, um, really happy so far. I'm only gonna film until, until dark. Um, I've got lights for me, but I didn't bring the beach out there down. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna knock this video on the head um, as soon as we lose the light. We're gonna go fish till about 9, 10 o'clock. We're gonna go and get some food, maybe a pizza or, or an Indian or something, whatever we can find local. Been a long day, you know. Uh, Simos traveled down from, uh, God, did I Imingyam Way this morning? Uh, Percy from Stafford, Pat from Wolverhampton, I'm Worcester, and then uh, Grand Command behind me, he's, uh, he's Gloucester. So we've had a fair old trek. It's worth it after the weekend of fishing. Yeah, it's just having a few little knocks again now, so we'll, uh, we'll see how they develop. Just can turn you on and show you up the beach. Plenty of people fishing. Behind me is Alan. Oh, there's Alan onto a fish, into a fish. See what he got there? He's winding well. He's using very light gear he is, so uh, the tip can be a bit deceiving on it. But let's see, has he got a fish here? Just turned around at the right time. I think high water is about 8 o'clock. Oh, he's got a couple of little fish by the look of it. Yeah. Is it fish or is it bait? I'm not quite sure. Actually. I think that's his bait. Yeah, no fish for that there. No fish. Pat's just had another small one. Okay, chaps. So what I've done now is I have uh, I've swapped over to some squid. I tried rag, fresh ragworm, I tried black lugworm, frozen, faux worms, half worms, and all we've got is, is pouting. You know, they, they're okay size wise, you know, they make a little tip bounce and they're catching fish, it's all the bonus. Uh, but now I've swapped over to a bit of squid um, just to see if, it's, if I can tempt anything else. Uh, I still think as, uh, as we go to darkness, I'm going to swap over. Oh, hey, up, guys, we've got a cracking bite there. Hell of a bite. I'm ready. Right. A uh, good bit of weight on it. Um, I say a good bit of weight, like I said, this, this, uh, this rod is a lot lighter than what I normally use. So it had a good bend in there, but it, it's a cracking bite, but it just, we just lost it in the surf. Never mind, we're back out there, we'll give it another go. That's fishing for you. But I'm really enjoying this, this is good fun. Okay, something is happening guys. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully as it gets dark we'll pick some up. We will, fingers crossed. <laughs> He's getting all excited. It happens in fishing. Yeah, that's definitely a bite guys, that's definitely a good bite. Okay, I feel a bit heavier. Guys, hair though, I'm still getting used to this rod. I don't really know how it's going to perform. It could be a tiny fish. Feels heavier than anything else I've had so far yet, though. There it goes. What have we got today? is a 
snotty little eel. Or is it a conger? I'm not quite sure which one it is, actually. I think it might be a conger. Might be a baby conger. Um, that is down to going down to the squid bait. So if it's going to carry on like that, we're going to take off the squid. That's for sure. Right then, buddy. Yes, yeah, a little conger, that is. Hey, come on, dude. Play nicely. Oh, a nightmare to I knock. There they are. Come on, look. Slimy little things. Right, we're going to use a disgorger. We're a little bugger to unhook, guys, so we're going to use a little disgorger on it and get it done that way. That's the easiest way, because they're slimy, they're difficult. So we've got a little disgorger here that uses the fish's weight, body weight, to unhook it. So these are a great bit of kit, these are. Just a little tea bar. Pop them in, lift him up, and he uses the fish's weight then to unlock himself. Nice and easy. Okay, little fella. Let's get you back. Okay, we're gonna get this one back again. Sturdy little buggers, these ones. There you go, matey, away you go. Okay, fish number five. You gave a cracking little bite. Right, we're starting to lose the light. And uh, like I said earlier, I, I don't want to film in the darkness. Um, it's too much hassle. So, um, hold on, Pat needs some help. Two seconds. With one of his rigs. Um, so, uh, where, was, where was I? What was I saying? Right, yeah, I don't want to film in the darkness. So, uh, once I've wound this one in, this one's been out about 15 minutes. We've got two prawns on it. Once I've wound this in, we're going to put the camera gear away um, and just concentrate on fishing in the dark. And um, fingers crossed, we'll have a big fish. If we do, I'll take some photos and add it to the end of the video. If not, I'll be back. In, uh, with another video in a couple of days, like I said, we're here for the weekend, so uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and share, share the like. Cheers, all tight lines.